I love Charles Barkley. How about the Caesars Sportsbook posting odds for the over 70 players that are participating in the American Century Championship? This is so mean. This is a good. Why did they scroll to the bottom? Because that's where this. It's not an indictment on on Chuck. It, these are good players. Yeah, Tony Romo's the odds-on favorite to win. I yeah, think it's well documented. It. He's good. Defending champ. And the guy with the longest odds is Charles Barkley. Oh no, 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 and Demarcus Ware. Okay, whatever. You know what? I will not have them besmirch my friend Charles Barkley, who joins us now on behalf of the American Century Championship from Lake Tahoe. Chuck, as you know, you're a fan favorite there. Maybe not so much Vegas's. 7,500 to one odds to win. Your thoughts on this level of disrespect? It's total disrespect. But you know what? I already guaranteed, L. I'm <laughs> not coming in last place. I'm going to beat somebody. I promise you that. Have you already looked at, like, who's at the bottom that you could potentially take? Well, I have a, so, well we just finished our round. So I got to see what DeMarcus Ware is. He's the one guy I know that I'm better than. <laughs> so I got to see some scores before I get overconfident. Uh, Chuck, it's your 25th year at the ACC, the first time without any fans. How's it going to feel to not have anyone in the gallery to potentially hit? Well, that's probably one of the reasons I enjoy playing golf. I get to hit <laughs> fans. You know, there's some fans who <laughs> deserve to be hit. I'm going to miss doing that. Uh, you know what, L, uh, sports are going to suck in general without fans. The fans are an integral part. They're important. They're significant. They give you energy at times when you know you, when you're exhausted. Sometimes they're giving you such a hard time, they, get, they make you play better. Sports in general, not just here, is going to suck without fans. But that's the new normal we're living in. And, and I don't see any time soon where we're going to have a bunch of fans and that's really going to suck for the players, too. Yeah, and I imagine it's going to be eerie as you're calling these NBA games. The players, of course, arriving in the bubble in the midst of soaring COVID numbers in Florida. And MLS teams being infected while in their own bubble in Orlando. Chuck, what do you think of the effectiveness of the NBA's bubble restart? Well, you know, I, I personally don't think they should have started testing people until they got in the bubble. Uh, you know, because uh, that's what I personally think. Testing guys before they got to the bubble, that made zero sense whatsoever. We have about three weeks before the season starts. I thought when everybody got in the bubble, we should have started testing then. You know, L, listen, I love Adam Silver. I love the NBA. I don't see how this thing is going to work, to be honest with you. You know, they want, they say 83 days, really three months. I don't see how we can go three months and do not have an outbreak in Florida, which is the number one hot spot. Now you got all these NBA teams, you got the WNBA, you got Major League Soccer. I just don't see how it's going to work for three months, and I'm really, really scared for the NBA. So, Chuck, what in your mind would precipitate the canceling of the season? Well, see, you know, L, I actually, so the NBA to me, they're talking out of both sides of their mouth. And what I mean by that is, you remember when Rudy Gobert tested positive? Mm -hmm. They quarantined Utah and Oklahoma City. Now they're saying if a player tests positive, they're just going to take him out. I don't understand. If you sequestered both teams when they tested positive last time, how can you only take one guy out who's been at practice in the hotel with his teammates and played against other NBA players? I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.